Welcome back to Railroads Online. I am River, and I have had some technical difficulties. I actually recorded an episode and a half, and didn't have any microphone on, and I really honestly don't know why. It wasn't just that it was muted. My default microphone just disappeared. So if in the next, I guess that's a disclaimer, if in the next uh, little bit it seems like I know what I'm doing, it's in part because I might have already done some of it, which is good and bad, I guess. So one of the other problems I had is I was intending to go back in time far enough and then show you how I fix this. However, the way I save usually, you know, it sort of depends, but I keep a couple extra back saves, but not too much. I don't go back in time. But the only thing I had was a save that I had made right after I fixed this problem. And I'm thinking I did a pretty good job. I think when I redid it for the video that never happened, and the save that I still have, but I didn't. I did a lot of other stuff on that save. I, I want to do the stuff with you guys. The basic idea is I just made a ramp in here. Let me delete this little piece. Even though that makes it look ugly. All right. So what I did was I came in here to a height that was just slightly higher than these boxes, so that you guys know for your own. It's like if I come here, see how it's just. Oops. That's just a little higher. I mean, if you went a little higher than that, you'd be fine. And let me say, I, I don't... I'm pretty sure I tested this. I don't know. Yeah, 75. I put three more in here. Actually, we can open up the rail car to make it look a little more official. Come on. There you go. See that? Let's take a watch, watch it and what it does now compared to what it did before. So see how it's going into the side of the thing? and It's not... It's, it's more or less just enough that it's below that roof, so it drops it right in there. And then these things... You know, I think... I don't know if I mentioned it or not. I was thinking that these things held... Was it 24? But they hold 32, which is a pretty big difference. So now we have plenty that these can hold. Now, another thing that happened is because we were on this hill... Which, remember, I saved it here because I never expected to use this save. <laughs> so, but what happened is, is when I did restart the save, some of the cars started sliding down the hill and the pins didn't connect. Right, so I put the brake on the final car. We'll have to back that up a little bit and get that going again. But let me pause the recording just enough to load up all of our... Of these, I, mean, I doubt you guys want to sit there and watch me load 64 of these things on there. It's it'll take, I don't know how many minutes, but long enough that I think I should just cut it here and then, yeah, there we go. So we have a nice or reasonably nice flat level area right there, and then we'll just have to deal with the hill. But that at least fixes it for now. Another thing I want to do and did, <laughs> so this it'll be good because this will be even better. I was thinking about what do I do, eventually we need to come pick these guys back up and I want to drop off these boxcars someplace. So I'm thinking of actually building a rail siding on the other side. If we look at the map for a minute, it's kind of hard to see because the word iron is right above that, but I think we would be better off doing it on this side, making a yard that we could just store some vehicles down here. I feel like we don't need a big, huge one. I think a bigger one might work out better by the sawmill. But I could definitely want to see leaving things down here at times. Not not necessarily those cars, but certainly the... Maybe the... What do you call it? These box cars and also possibly the tanker cars. But I think I also might want to get a consist for these steel pipes, right? So we'll see. It's a little bit of a, a logistics fight because we can only bring a few steel pipes over to the crude iron, the crude oil, crude iron, and we can we can bring a hundred steel pipes over to the refinery. So I'm thinking of you know even though we built this consist and it's wonderful and great, I would like to get more of these flat cars that we keep down here removing these steel beams but I'd also like to see how it works out I definitely you know don't have a problem with barm now we bought these two to leave down here as well is the reason I say that so but we might end up buying more to bring them down here and then the same is kind of true 
with these you know, if we're going to leave this consist together, then we leave the consist together, right? Now, another thing that's happened that I realized is that because I had my numbers wrong on my spreadsheet, we have eight of these lumber cars, and that now we only can hold nine of these steel pipes. And that just doesn't work out. Like, we would want six of these lumber cars per nine steel pipes. That would give us the right ratio that we can actually hold and use over at the at the um, crude oil. That's the word. I'm having a hard time with crude oil. All right, well, let me... I guess I could have been loading this whole time. We'd be three-quarters of the way there. <laughs> but I got to pull it forward, and I, I'm going to back up and just reattach those cars once I get even maybe one of these loaded. We'll see. All right, I'll meet you back in a minute when we're, when we're ready to pull out. It's a short trip over there. Yeah, we're all loaded up. We have 64, where is it? There we go, 64, two cars of 32. Let's close our doors. So the tools are loaded. Everything is loaded. We are ready to go. Well, not quite. Let me go throw some wood in here. Let's get that going. Yeah. People having problems hitting this. And you can see I just did it from the side. <clears throat> just kind of pointed right towards what I think is the middle there. Really wondering about that, if it's the settings on a video card. But in any event, we're going to back up here. Let's go make sure we have a link in case something strange there happened. No link there. We can pull this pin out, I guess. And uh, we have a link in this one. And then maybe we just, do we run along and... Alright, just for the sake of hearing that noise they should be all bunched bunched up together that is one plus to have in this on a hill Since the brakes on this last car we got to remember that as well so I also switched the switches that we need up to all the way up into the main intersection figured it'd be a little easier than doing that on camera Plus, pulling up, I don't know, it's really a debate of mine that I've never really come to a firm. This is what I want to do or not do. Now the reverse is on. Can we just let off the brake? See how it springs forward? You really shouldn't. Oh, no, you know what? I am in a little bit of a downhill, aren't I? Yeah, this is, that's right, because I rated about where that brake is right there. I do want to fix that eventually. Give it a little bit of break since we're on a hill. See if it'll too much. Come on, keep going. Why did you come to a stop? You're definitely on enough of a hill. You should be stop quite like that. But our heat will be up by the time we don't want to slam into it. Be a little bit realistic here. Getting there. Any day now. There you go. Break. All right. Should be good. Yeah, this one. Good. So let's just check these while we're here. You see how that released it somehow? Like, I don't know if that's... Is that... I mean... That, I, don't, I don't think that one's attached. I don't like the way it looks anyway. Yeah, see how that's not making the noise. <clears throat> All right, well, let's go back a little bit further. That's why we... I, I don't know if I just caused that. I think I probably probably did. Take the break off. Now we should just go backwards, right? Yeah, that's 
So now if we do the thing. Yep, get the noise. And we'll check one more just for the sake of it. Yeah, and you definitely saw where that... I don't know if you just noticed it, but it definitely moved that last car that I just... One of those cars. So these links have... Obviously they have a physics to them, but they're... But they also seem to be able to hold some kind of attention in them. Which in real life... It's not a spring, right? It's It might act like a spring or seem that way in, in some respects. Like, it could have some friction to it, but for the most part, they're not going to be spring-loaded. They're just chunks of metal. And metal can be springy, obviously, right? <laughs> That's Most springs out there are made of metal. Yeah, we're going to up over this hill. At least we got some fire going now. Uh, another word of warning. I got stuck in this pipe right here and had to re... Not not with this new save or old save, whatever you want to call it. But, uh, you know, running back and forth in between these, I got stuck in that pipe and had to respawn. So keep that in mind. Let's, is everybody coming with us? I think that's everybody, isn't it? It feels like it's not everybody. No, I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing somebody. You guys over here. <laughs> we should have eight lumber cars. Yeah. What the heck? I thought I just went down along. I guess I, I thought I heard the noise in all of these, right? Stand in front of a train car. To... Is that going to stop you enough? Huh. All right, let's go get these guys. The fiasco that has been the train operations down here. When I say fiasco, I guess maybe that's a strong word in some some people's books, but it certainly hasn't been the smoothest. Let's go get some tools and and head on out. back and get this guy. I'm gonna go back up up the hill. We'll be we'll be out of fire again by the time we get this. Yeah. See there we go. We're just sitting there like phasing back and forth with thirty six. And I believe that that has something to do with the couplings and the way they did the physics. Is that known? No, not really. So I was debating where we put these box cars, and having built an area over there, which gets kind of a lot bigger than you would expect, and then the other problem is getting in and out of over there is a problem because this curve down here that we're about to back around is relatively tight and we or at least tight enough that you can't get a a uh, switch without making this turn wider so having said that what I think I might like to do is maybe make this a place that we would store rail cars and actually try to see if we can't swing wider over here into a wider turn right that we could maybe reconnect the way we do it here the way these are, are connecting into that, like even if we had to go longer and then around. But in the meantime, we could probably even just get, you know, something where we could stick these guys and then come down here and do more work. I'm really trying to push towards us getting some oil sold. And I don't know that I should be trying to push that hard, but I should be getting close. Slow down too much. Start slowing down a little, get out of our own exhaust.
Oops, not that one. Yeah, I think it's moving. Alright, so good that we checked. But a little bit annoying. I thought I checked all of these. Maybe I made it worse by disconnecting them, right? I think that was the one. Let's disconnect this and see what happens. I don't expect anything too big, but... Yeah. All right, well, let's try it again. So now one more food for thought to get ahead of myself because I'm ahead of myself and there we go. We're all coming along for the ride. Very good. Now we don't have any fuel. <laughs> now one thing to say too that I've kind of noted is this fire temperature is what's really driving us forward. It's not the fact that we have fuel or don't have fuel. When you think about, I mean, obviously you need fuel, but the reason you need fuel is to get your fire temperature up. And then the fire temperatures would actually affects the water temperature. So, and even then, I don't really think that this is the fire's temperature, right? Because that would be pretty low, even in Celsius. Like it's, you know, especially if you start talking about it gets down to like one. It's almost like this is like, the fire's energy. You know, like, you have enough energy to keep making water. And I don't know if you could, you know, the distinction is, like, you could fill up this firebox with a little bit of wood that's at a very high temperature, or a lot of wood that's at a high temperature. But this is almost like trying to be like your gas gauge, it feels like. We're kind of going fast for all these cars. It was pretty smooth, though. Let's see, we head out on 10. Usually pretty quick. Right. Gonna need to pay attention and not just talk. So when it comes to this, it, it's almost like this is a store of energy and not so much, you know, like as the fire burns down, this number goes down. Which is just really, I don't know if you could make this more confusing. <laughs> like, you know, I, I guess I know I'm overthinking it or something, but. But the bottom line is, I'm heading out here with complete confidence because I know that this is really like not a temperature and more like the amount of fuel we have left. And then you put fuel in just to raise this back up to 400. And I also say that because I've noticed that I've been throwing in like five pieces of firewood every time and that's really not the thing to do i don't I, I would i need to probably pay more attention and look like how much firewood do we pull in to get this up back up to 400 right and then because if you're burning fuel and this is at 400 then you're kind of wasting the fuel which is another thing that really wouldn't happen in real life right i mean just the fact that your firebox is at a certain temperature is going to mean it's going to lose some of that to the atmosphere, but it's not going to, like, that's why you have controls on these boilers that you can control the rate at which you burn the fuel. So, I mean, it's just really not, the, whoever do, does this programming needs to go and, like, stay in a cabin for a weekend and burn a wood stove the whole weekend and see how it works as far as putting out heat goes. Because that heat doesn't matter whether it goes out into your house or into steam, right? Like you're burning the wood, converting it to energy, either in the form of heat or steam, which is hot water. Hope that makes sense. Now, I didn't check down here. We're going this way, that way. You know, this is good. 
even though I did feel like once I was at my intersection back there, I could have just run over here and got all the switches in place. Now, I don't know. I don't want to assume those back switches are right either. Now, the other thing I thought of is could we put in a place to keep those oil things here? Now, I don't see any problem with that. It sort of depends on how we want to run things, right? Like, do we want to build up the train? Do we want to, like, haul all the oil over there at once, all the steel beams, and then come down with the lumber? Start getting ready to stop here. Hey, guys, we're going to have crude oil shortly. That's that's a fairly, fairly big step in our little world of railroads online. So we can hold a hundred tools, which I was mistaken about. For some reason, when I wrote down on my thing, I, I had written down, I guess we should open the door. Make it look right. All right are they going in? Yeah, good. Now, the other one of the things I did down here already <laughs> that's undone is to put markers. Now, I'm not sure if these guys need are in line with those we can check it out in a little bit but i want to pull up to where we're really close to right in between these so we could unload two cars at once and then make markers on the other side of this and i've already done it we're gonna to have to go down past here right so we're gonna to have to like mark some of them over on this side of the track and then because this train's so long we'll mark some of the other ones like down on the left right hand side so then we'll do the same thing going back this other way. So I'll pull up here to drop off this first. Well, first, we'll get rid of all of our tools. But then we'll pull up here to get rid of the first. Uh, take the break all the way off. Really don't need it for these. And I don't want to get confused about which marks are for which because it's maybe one day we'll have three of these cars but i don't see us having too many much more, more need to call more than a hundred or three times 32 would be 96. you know i just don't let's close this car i don't see a huge need to do more than 96. now we should be getting paid money for this let's see if i think it was i think my sheet was right Yep, twenty dollars a piece. That's a, that's a pretty good payday for these. You know, f close to five hundred dollars for the rail car each. That was a thousand bucks. It's a lot of work to get the tools. So I'm not sure that it's strictly worth the five hundred. But when you consider all the other things we got paid for in between, that's it's not too bad. We're like a value added tax, huh? Every step of the way, we take a little bit more money off the the top. All right, I think that's empty. Yep, 64 tools I can see in there barely. So let's pull up to where this, like I want to try to be accurate with this, where this first car, well, we can't really see it. That's it's going to be part of our problem is having these in the way. And then we want to find a place to put these because I want to go back up and get more lumber, right? Because we, right now we have, we need to go get more lumber and beams. We have enough to do 18 crude oil with us. However, that's not really enough. All right. It's just so hard to see from a distance. We're right there with the first car. First of the steel beam cars. I want to guess that's pretty close. Let's see how if I'm any better at guessing these days. Ooh, that was that's awful. That was awful good. So we want to back up. We want to be back to here. Not that it matters too much. I'm not. I want to unload this car. All right, but we're gonna put that right where it says six inches. Yeah, okay, so let's unload the car. We'll get our first crude oil officially on the go. I think. Oh, no, because we need to unload some wood. 
All right, so what I want to do here now is start up here someplace. Maybe all the way back at this turn, right? Oh, look, that's pretty convenient. Yeah, is that as long? No, well, we could, we might need some more marks out this way at some point in the distant future. All right, is that? Let's give us a nice place to keep our. Markers up out of the dirt. Right, and then let's find a good place. I'm actually going to do this so it looks a little nicer. I'm going to come over here so we can delete this piece that's underground. And I'll come to about here maybe. Know that it has to go this far, but we might as well just I think end it like that. Will look decent. Give us plenty. Now they, I don't mind that it's extra long either, because I think you know if we got bigger and better, and I could definitely see us doing two sets of these. You know, each set being one steel beams and three uh, steel pipes, and then one steel pipes, and then three of the beams all right so this is off a little bit further this way right so we would want to put our mark oh, that's not what I want that great Oops. what I want to go a little bit closer do want to try to make yeah if we go I think that's and actually it's a little bit we want to go a little bit back further where that is it's really not that accurate a thing <laughs> it doesn't need to be that accurate i'm not too worried about <clears throat> excuse me i'm not too worried about that one because it's i just want to be a little further back If we had been that much further back, we would be good. <clears throat> so one of the reasons, well, yeah, now we want to do all the rest of these. Even though we don't, they don't do us any good. This particular trip. Then I'll move this whole thing forward, and I think I'll, it might even go. And look at that. That that is a. Oops, I didn't like where that one was. Because I got distracted by in part. See the way that. That's a problem, that the game has. Somehow we're up in the air. These things aren't sitting there properly. At least that one isn't. No particular reason that I can see that it does that sometimes. I know that it's the game is relatively friendly with these rail cars finding their tracks when you re-rail them. And like you drop that thing on there and it sort of settles in to <laughs> to be in the right place so that the wheels go on the tracks. That one's off a little bit. Like I said, it's. I think these are relatively forgiving. And yeah, there's another one that the wheels are off. All right, good. So now let's try to pull all the way forward. Yeah, see this one. Let's demolish.
Yeah. Alright, so what happens is hit the wrong button. We're still in forward mode. So what happens is even though it's a bit of a pain to find this very last car and get it into the exact right position, it's easier than trying to guess where each and every one of these are, is and just doing it one at a time. All right, because you can't, it's like, even when you're just that close, it's still a bit difficult to find it. So I found like this first time through, just come all the way down. Now the problem is we get so far away that we can't really see exactly where we're at. This is definitely where having another person would be, be good. So especially in this case, now we're, we're turning away from it. We can't get a view down that other side. We can see here kind of where we're at. All right, I think we're getting... Sort of in the neighborhood, of course. Yeah, we're past this other tool thing there. Yeah, let's just stop it there. I think that should be kind of close. And if we get, it doesn't have to be perfect. If we can get it reasonably close, we can see. Let's start making marks. So we want to be back a good amount. It's five, six feet. And really more than that. So let's make a mark. Oh, I guess it'll be on this side. All right, we want to go back a good five or six feet, which is going to be probably about where this wheel is. Let's make a mark right here and then we'll make another one which we might end up deleting these like right there because I really want to go back too because I need to unload the wood not be in a blank spot for the wood so you now go oh, we're running out of fire now, the other thing I did notice, and I think that this was in the last episode, but if you don't put at least three in there, you're not going to get any pressure. All right, so we're going to go back to this next mark, and that should be... It should be pretty darn close, and then we can... Mark off the rest of these. Yeah, it's it could go forward. I guess some of that's just the. I mean, it is. It's fine. I'm not, certainly not going to worry about it. But it, if I had to stop, I would have stopped like that much further forward. All right. So let's let's cheat that. Yeah, see how this one, well, that one's, yeah, see how we're, yeah, well, that's good. We know where to do it now, right? That is about how much. That one's probably not the greatest spot ever, but. <laughs> get it lined up perfect and it moves anyway not about perfect but I got it lined up nicely and then it moved yeah, that's, again this is not not some form of rocket science what we're doing here off a little bit let's
this is two extra cars, which is should in theory at least be more than we need going forward. Yeah, you can see where let's just give this one a good guess because it won't hurt, right? And we'll do this one since we're still in this mode. <laughs> now that is something I have thought of, right? Like it might not be bad to have that's not a worst of that's not the worst look I've ever seen. So I don't know what you guys think. Do you do you like it better without the because you know you could always come back and delete that now. Anyway, you get the idea. Alright, well I'm gonna sit here and unload the rest of these. You guys get the idea with oops, can't get over the beams. Can't get over the pipes. I'm going to go back and, and just get all of this unloaded, and then we will have to have a serious conversation about... Oops, let's close the door. About what to do with these box cars. Because now we're going to... What I would like to do is, is go and get some more... Some more steel beams and some more lumber and bring it down here. And that will get us, you know, just some more crude oil. So how much do we have now? We should have... 18 i believe right. or we won't yet we won't until we drop that the rest of the well, we made pretty good money we had 5200 and i think we were somewhere in the 3000 some dollars it probably should have looked doesn't matter that much but most of that i think or a big chunk of it came from those two tools which is 64 so that's dropping off a bunch of things for 20 bucks a piece and other than that it went pretty well i kind of at one point here forgot to stop and then or just got confused and distracted, so I had to pull forward again. I did flip our one switch down there, and so we should be ready to, to head back. Now, we've never done this trip, so that's one of the reasons I'm doing this. This switch looks like it's good to go. But we should be ready to go. Um, how is our fire doing? Yeah, we, we have enough. I could put in... Let's just put in two more pieces. Just for the sake of uh, keeping it keeping it hot. Let's see how far, we'll try to keep an eye on how far does that keep our fire up, right? So we were at like 180 or somewhere in that ballpark. Does that, you know, how far does that push that fire temperature? Is it 100 a piece? Because it seems to me like when you put in five pieces, you get 400 all the time. So it's almost like you should probably not be putting in just automatically five pieces it seems to me like that's a at least a minor waste unless you're really trying to push your distance to the maximum which could be the case like it certainly is only a piece of firewood at the end of the day I'm not saving that much by not putting that in there yeah so i don't think there's really any benefit at this point to leaving these here because they we have to, you know, even if we're dropping tools off here, and that's the only thing we had on this train, we're still going to have to go back to someplace else. So I think really it's it's beyond my ability to want to think about it. I mean, I'm sure I could work out some kind of a scheduling that would be the perfect thing, but I'd kind of rather muddle through it with you guys. You know, how do we really want to do this? And one thing that I did learn is that I'd want to avoid these this train is a pain in my four-way intersection because every single time you've got to not only switch coming in and out of one of these we also have to switch over the four-way intersection right because it's if i just run lumber back and forth to down here i don't have to switch anything other than my in and out switch because that flips over right it's like i have to flip this next switch that we're going to hit just because we came in the other way kind of thing but when it comes to this this switch, like right now, we're going to just head right back over to the ironworks. Perfect. But if we were going to pick up lumber, we got to get out and switch that again, that four-way switch, four-way intersection switch. And then we come back there. And then when we get down here, we got to switch it again because we want to go over to the ironworks and get the steel beams. And then when we come back out, we got to switch it again to get back heading over in this direction. <laughs> so... 
you know, where all of that is avoidable if we were just taking lumber or just taking steel beams. So I think whenever they give us the opportunity, like over at the refinery, to just drive over steel beams, 100, and um, we're better off with either a car that will take all 100 of them, 10 cars, 11, let's say 11 cars we could bring over there, would be 99. We're, I think we're better off doing that than, I guess we could be going a little bit faster, but that's fine, we're talking. I hope that makes sense. Now, when you talk about over at the refinery, we can only bring 24 lumber. So that would just have to be the last thing we would bring over, right? We would take our 99 beams or however many made sense. I think maybe 10, 90 would be close enough. Nice round number. Then we would bring over a bunch of beams. And then that way, if we had several trips with beams or several trips with the pipes, we wouldn't be switching this thing quite as often. And then the crude oil, we can we can hold a, a ton and a half of crude oil. They're not not worried about that. So and then we could hold a ton. We could hold you know 100 tools back over here. So and this is such a short trip. Now one thing I want to do. Let's stop. You know what, I think we're going to stop sooner than later. All right, let's just stop out here because we need to real quick down and dirty try to build a little place put this and I want to do it like I said I think having had the experience of building a rail siding over here which I definitely still want to do but I want to make that its own episode and get a little bit more crude oil hauled either during this episode or at, after it's over because I, I don't we don't have that much time here so the question is do we have enough room to put in a switch right here that's kind of wonky Right. And even if that means taking it further, I'm willing to destroy some track. Right. I would destroy this one. That little goofy piece. Right. Let's destroy everything up to that switch. So we need to get that switch to hook up. Yeah, that's... Let's just see what this looks like. All right, switch left, switch left. Yeah, this might work. I think I need to just, let's keep this in sight <laughs> so that we're not. Remember that, that could get changed a little bit right there, right? Not sure. I'm not sure that we're level right there. Yeah, see, there's no way that's going to work. At least not with the configuration that we're in. Now, I could try to make this turn. Yeah, let's, uh... Put some more of this out this way. So at least I can... One of the reasons I didn't want to place this is because it's going to be... See how it goes down into the... We can keep that turn spinning around tighter, right? The more we have it like this, the more that would... I mean, we could actually try to do a little bit of the opposite, huh? Where would that, yeah, see, really, for that to work close, it's going to have to be like this, which is not going to work. Yeah, I think we're going to have to change both of these switches to do this at all. Right, let's go back. That's not so bad, because what I'm thinking of, let's see, could we get that? Yeah, so that's going to be kind of tough. I don't want to make this super duper tight. Let's 
just see here. It's going to be. Start bringing it over. Yeah, that's. And I could definitely live with that turn if I could live with this, which I don't think is so far off in a different way. Right? I mean, that's not completely unreasonable. Now, keep in mind, one of the goals, if I'm going to build something over there, the circle at the bottom needs to be wider. So if I end up redoing that, it's okay if I end up with one of these tracks further over this way. Like I'm perfectly fine if, if the, even if this ends up being the outer loop, right? One day. So that's one of the reasons I'm doing it like I am. Right, so the question becomes, can I get hmm. that's, that's really pretty nice, but the problem being, first of all, let's go get some more groundwork out this way. One thing to keep in mind, even though I've done it in the past, I don't like the idea of leaving cars sitting on here. So even though we have a bypass, and the reason is, I think it's fine if you only have one place to go. In other words, like, if there was only one place these steel beams, steel pipes were being used, that would be a totally different thing than the actual situation that we have. Which is to say... We do need those steel pipes at two places. So if we're going to end up with two, there's a good chance we're going to end up with like a steel pipe train. Then we're going to also have this train that we have here that's only going to want to pick up two at a time. So I'm thinking, thinking that's going to be a thing. Now the other thing about the quote steel pipe train is that could also be our log train, right? So where do we keep that? Do we keep it up by the logs and then it works out to just drag it down here when we need it or? We don't really need any logs down here unless we were dropping off firewood, so. I think I'm going to try a switch left. Yeah, see, that's too far. Or is it? It's too far and or not at the right angle. And if we try to come up here, well, maybe what we need to do is split even further up here. All right, let's just see. That's just getting way too long to be able to get into this. And do we just stick one right? I don't like to have these back to back, but. All right, what happens if we just stick one of these on there? It's not really back to back in the same way. It's actually front to back. If that makes sense. Like that that's not what I would do, but it's not the right one. Switch right, thing on the right. In a way, I don't like it, but in another way, I do. Came up here just to fill in. All right, so when we were coming to pick up and drop off, we would have that. Yeah, 
that's well, that, that could work because we can all our nice markers will go away. We can always swing this clean a little bit more of this. And let's get rid of Yeah, it seems to be I don't want to say hit or miss, but <laughs> really it's we'll get rid of some of those extras. I, I they can't be doing the game any favors. So let's demolish back. But boy, that track doesn't really need to be straight coming in here, right? Yeah, so let's, I don't know, let's demolish a bunch of this. I'm sure we'll need some stuff, but just you get so much. Who knows if these are near, see, like little pieces and hidden stuff. and All the stuff the game has to render. There we go. That's, we could always be like that. That was just sort of pointless anymore. Let's do this, too. I'll get rid of some trees. But even a little improvement <laughs> ends up being a complicated thing, huh? Just these, well, certainly part of the challenge, but a bigger box of switches of different sizes probably wouldn't hurt. You know, have like a high speed. Now that's the other thing I think somebody mentioned, and I don't know if it's true, but it certainly makes sense. That these are designed so that every train can go over them. Right, they're not designed for... necessarily just the smallest ones and some of those trains have some pretty big wheel bases that you're just getting rid of all the trees if you haven't figured that out all right, is that all of them yeah so Let's get rid of that could be a little bit too sharp down this end maybe yeah I think I'd rather bring it in a little bit a little bit more curvy one thing I think I have. Let's. Matter of fact, we'll get rid of that one too. Yeah. Right off the bat, I don't really like where that gravel goes for coming from this direction, just because we're going to have to have a little bit of a straight piece right here. I mean, that's right right on the edge of it. All right, we'll see what it looks like when we get... And I do like that we have a fairly... Fairly straight section there. Yeah, see, when you do that, you do things like this. See how that's, that's why you really need to just get your Let's see if we can't meet up with that just in a little bit friendlier way, right? 
right, so we'll go all the way back to right there. It's a little bit more swingy down this end. We should be able to come off just with a little bit of a straight, and I don't think it'll make it that much. We might want to redo the whole thing, but at least we'll know. Know after this shot that we got it a little bit. Now I'm wanting to do the opposite, but that's okay. There we go. Okay, with that extra stone on that side, let's come up here and see the issue that I have when these switches are back to back is that they just become so close that you can't tell which one is controlling which. But this is pretty obvious which one is being controlled by which switch. All right, what you gotta do? I just want to do this because I want it to look nice. It's not necessarily where this other track is going to go. I just figure we'll fill in the... Fill in the gravel in between, right? Like I said, it's... Now at this point, do we just make a little bit of a spur to put this thing on? All right, let me just do the same thing. We're just going to swing another hole wide one of these. And what this real all of this work is really to let us get another switch in somewhere along that that path that we just made. All right. I'm thinking maybe we could get it in like right here, you know, try to get to enough of a straight section we can pop out a switch like right in this ballpark. Let's see what when you think about it, this one was going straight and this we started this turn a lot sooner. So we should and then it's wider anyway, so we should be able to Jam a switch in here. Start turning it. All right. All right, and if we get switch left, switch right, switch right, the thing on the right. And we delete a little bit of this. Now, do we even want to rearrange in the entire world till we see? Do now the problem is that we stop. Sure, that's not looking that good, to be honest. Eh. 
Yeah, see, it's a little bit. See how that's just like a straight piece right there into the. I think that's yeah. This it's not the world's greatest turn, but hey, we got it doing the thing anyway. Yeah. So now the question here is: before we get into too much else, yeah, let's swing this. That's not what I want. And the other question is, this is working out pretty well. We've got so many questions. <laughs> not enough answers. We could really do another switch, I think. So if we're not married to the idea where... I mean, I don't know that I have to have it where we can come straight through, right? Like this could definitely just be a spur to store one of these consists. And really, I think I might want another one down here. So we could put like another switch after this switch for the future sake of Right, if I let's see what this would look like if we put a switch left thing right. Yeah, see I could come down a little bit. Yeah, that's not at all lined up with the other old one, is it? Let's see. I mean if we just attached it, that's really not that bad, is it? And I mean, it's not a drive through yard, but does the siding really need to be? I mean, it's not like, especially not if we're not working the consist, right? It's like different if you had like a, like a rail yard where you were putting together the consist, where you might big, a big advantage to being able to get at them from either end. We can end it right here. This should certainly be tall enough, I think. Yeah, it's, I wish you could do the shortest possible. Like that's the pretty close you can't make it it'd be nice if you could make it even shorter it'd be real nice if you just had to stop her so now what we can do is come in here and drop this off but then i'm thinking do we do another one except we've run out of time in this episode but you guys could get the idea of yeah what would how do we want to do this this will end the episode once we I guess the best thing to really do would be to just leave these cars that we don't want out here. Oh, that's not... That doesn't look overly friendly, does it? Yeah, so our bypass route was what we're set up to go on right now. So what I think we would do is spin all the way around and face the other direction. We'll just leave these cars out here the stuff that we're going to end up taking over to the back up to the sawmill in the next episode i'm sure all right we lock this one down i didn't notice that went to 97 percent. i don't think it'll be in our way i think we'll have enough room to reverse i hope i probably should have checked a little bit better only two cars in the loco. Um, yeah, yeah, it'll fit. Won't have a ton of extra room, but Ooh. Ooh, wrong 
click. All right, so now what I want to do is go this way. All right. Come on. And then I'm going to be coming back up. Yeah, this just made this more complicated. But either way, no matter which one I go on, I could get all the way around, I think. Might get lucky and be able to pull right back up to here. If not, we'll have to hop out real quick and throw a switch. All right, we're disconnected. I'm going to put in three pieces of firewood just to get our fire temperature up so we don't end up running out. All right, let's make sure we're just bringing what we want. And this is nice and long, and we'll be able to make two nice and long ones, even though we don't need them that long. Because the question is, and I think we could even extend this even further. This is a completely different thing than I did in the last episode. Just showing you guys that you could do plenty of flexibility. But I'm actually liking this a lot better. You know, the shame of the game is that it takes you so long to to do these things that you you... I don't know, maybe you don't, but I get a little bit of attached to what I already did. And I wouldn't want to go have to delete it, even though it's not quite as nice as I might like. But I'm definitely liking it. Now, the benefit to building over here, which we can still do, was that you could pull through and just drop things off. You didn't have to do this loop around kind of thing. And another thought is, do we relocate? As I was doing all this work over here, the, the idea of relocating our our fuel kind of was appealing too. I didn't move it, mostly because that, you know, I didn't want to lose all the firewood that was in it. So I might not restock that thing, <laughs> though. I don't know. It's a lot of firewood in there at the end of the day. Maybe the bigger trains will use a lot more. I'm not sure. Sort of, you know anxious to get another locomotive going but at the same time i want to get my empire working bringing us in money like right right now we're we're finally getting to the spots where the the deliveries are starting to add up as far as the amount of money we get to where i'm becoming wealthy enough to just cut down trees whenever i want and buy rail cars whenever we need them for the most part all right so yeah we're gonna go this way i think that was that the way we were switched i don't know. guess that doesn't matter too much the cars are all there It looks pretty cool. Our first uh, three car, you know, three rails in a row like that that I'm aware of. Some of this is just an experiment to see what works out best, but I do really like this. You know, of course, we could go through the bypass, and I don't really want to leave cars here, like I said, because I can see two different types of trains for two different purposes coming in there. So I, I definitely want to make it where we can park these other cars when we're done with them. So expect that in a new in a, in an episode that we might even do another one of these after that. All right, get these are all switched the right way. Oh no, this one's not. Oh shoot. <sighs> okay, well that's going to end the episode. By the time I get this rerailed, it'll be way too long. So there we go. We'll come back. I'll get this re-rail. We'll start the next episode right here in the same spot. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Let's get this flip just out of the sake of flippage. Yeah, I should have thought of that was going to be the opposite, wasn't it? Sometimes you can actually save it. You know what? Let's just try to save it real quick.
Alright, let's uh Let me just see that this is uh no 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 no. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Well I'll get this re-railed. Oops, let's get up there. Uh, you know what? Let these guys slide back a little bit, because I think it'll be just as easy to re-rail this if this guy's not on this switch. All right, guys, I'm going to put this back together and then we'll start the next episode right after this in real life, which would be tomorrow for you. So I hope you guys had a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.